Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I set up Garment Creator to print direct to film or DTF on the Epson F2100. I'm going to basically walk you through my settings and how I do the layout and get you guys started with the printing the DTF process. I did just put out a video of doing that actual process with printing it onto the film and powdering and getting that all cured as well. You can check that out on the top right corner of the screen here. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of brief through my settings. I definitely recommend if you are trying this, test it out on your end to see what works for you, but you can use this as a baseline. With that being said, we can just jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is have Garment Creator open. I like to select the black color t-shirt. This is going to basically have everything set to what we need. Print quality level 3, white print quality level 2, and the color print quality level 2 as well. As for advanced here, you can change the direction of the print to unidirection, but I do like keeping it at bi-direction. It gives you a quicker print overall and I usually don't see any lack of quality so that's typically left the same everything here is going to be the same the first thing we're going to change here is going to be under ink density for color and white under color I'm going to bump that up to plus 15 percent and white I'm going to bring that down all the way to negative 50. next thing you're going to see in under white management is going to be a button called ink order I switch this over to reverse so this essentially prints the color first and then the white layer this again is why we're using the black color t-shirt because it does use the white and color ink options. This option isn't typically going to be on your garment creator. This is a software tool that is addable to the 2.14 update for garment creator. You should be able to reach out to your Epson distributor and they should have these files and instructions on how to get this installed. If not, you're welcome to ask me if you have any questions in the comments. For color settings, I leave that alone as well. Basically, you are set here for the, uh, the print settings. If you want, you can go ahead and add this as a preset. I like to just, you know, call it DTF. So next time when you're going through, you can simply just click DTF and everything is already set up. So you don't have to mess with it. Next thing you're going to do is go to layout settings. Obviously, this part's going to be a little bit different for everybody. But for the print that I'm doing, I'm doing the samurai image. So go ahead and drag that into your platen. And I'm going to just mark it as top center because I typically like to tape the film at the center of my platen at the very top. For this one, I used a large platen here, so I want to go ahead and change the size, make sure it's the same. However, I am only using 14 by 16 inch films. So because of that, I want to make sure my design fits in there. Next thing you want to do, which is very, very important, is rotate your image or flip it across the horizontal axis. This is because everything prints backwards onto the film. So if you have text and you forget to flip it, it will read backwards. For images, it's not as important, but obviously you still want to flip it because you want to get the correct orientation. So once you have that, you're pretty much good to go. You just go down here and hit print. I'm using a computer that's not plugged into my printer just for a demonstration. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward process. If you do have any questions, let me know. The most important part for setting this up in Garment Creator is that reverse mode. So if you don't have that, essentially what you're going to be doing is printing just the CMYK portion of the design, leave the alignment and everything the same, and then you would switch over and only print white. And then that would let you print the CMYK first and then print the white on top, but it is a two-step process. Basically the same thing. This add-on allows you to just do the whole process in one print. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you learned something. I hope this is helpful and have fun printing. See you guys.